Hi, my name is Pai Chu and this is the 5-minute window. Daniel and his three friends have prayed for a night, asking God to show them the dream that King Nebuchadnezzar had. God reveals the dream to Daniel and now Daniel reveals that dream to the king. Daniel chapter 2 verses 31 through 35. Your majesty looked, and there before you stood a large statue, an enormous dazzling statue, awesome in appearance. The head of the statue was made of pure gold, its chest and arms of silver, its belly and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of baked clay. While you were watching, a rock was cut out, but not by human hands. It struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and smashed them. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver and the gold were all broken to pieces and became like chaff on a threshing floor in the summer. The wind swept them away without leaving a trace. But the rock that struck the statue became a huge mountain and filled the whole earth. Nebuchadnezzar, you are that head of gold. But after you will come three more kingdoms, followed by a kingdom of the rock that will smash the statue to pieces and fill the whole earth. Have you met a Babylonian? They ruled the earth about 2,500 years ago. Everyone, including Jerusalem, was afraid of them. How about the Medes and the Persians? They came after the Babylonians. Have you heard their language or read their writings? And what about the Greeks? Alexander the Greek conquered the Mediterranean coast in six years. And when he did that, he brought the Greek language and culture to the Mediterranean, just as now English is the language of the world. And what about the Romans who came after the Greeks? There was a time when everyone learned Latin in school. It comes from the Roman Empire of 2,000 years ago. What do these empires have in common? They are parts of the statue that Nebuchadnezzar dreamed about. Babylon is the head of gold. The silver refers to the meats and the Persians, and the bronze refers to the Greeks. The part iron and the part clay refer to the Romans. All these empires are history now. We learn from this passage today that even Nebuchadnezzar, as strong and mighty as he is, as the head of gold, he too will become history. Kingdoms come and kingdoms go. Cyrus and Darius of Persia are history now. Alexander the Great is history now. About three decades ago, smoking was permitted almost everywhere. We never thought that we would see the day that smoking would be disallowed. Yet, by the end of the 1990s, smoking was banned in a lot of public places. This is an example to show that we live in a changing world. Today's kingdoms might be gone tomorrow. Kingdoms come and kingdoms go. In a changing world, who or what can we rely on to be a stable foundation in our lives? Daniel is placed in new surroundings in Babylon and the only portable foundation that he can take with him is his God. Or should I say, God goes with Daniel and his three friends to Babylon. And he is constantly working in their lives and saying something to them to help them cope and even flourish with the language and culture of Babylon. God is with Daniel and his three friends in Babylon. How about you? 
who or what is your solid foundation of life?